thousands of you responded to the story of Maddie Smith, a Minnesota toddler with a devastating illness who needed a drug that cost $2 million. Her insurance denied that treatment. But tonight, a big update. Maddie will now get the life-changing medicine that she needs. Maddie Smith doesn't know her life just changed, but her mom does. Are you going to get some gene therapy? Maddie has spinal muscular atrophy, a genetic disorder that is fatal in most babies if not treated. Painful for a grandma to watch. <laughs> This disease is terrible. Maddie has been getting injections of a drug called Spinraza. It treats SMA symptoms, but is not a cure. At nearly two, Maddie can't eat solid food, can't walk, and is nonverbal. <coughs> a brand new gene therapy drug called Zolgensma could cure her, but at $2.1 million for a one-time dose, it is the most expensive drug in the world, and Maddie's insurance through the state of Minnesota Department of Human Services had repeatedly denied coverage. Insurance, you know, it was devastating. It was just so devastating. Worse, Zolgensma is only approved until age two, and Maddie turns two next week, meaning Maddie's family has been fighting as much against the clock as the state. I wanted the decision makers to look her in the eye and tell her they wouldn't help her because she's such a beautiful child. Her grandmother got her wish. Just after telling their story to CARE 11, the family was granted an emergency hearing with DHS. And two days later, DHS reversed course. And I'm still in awe and I'm still, you know, speechless. Maddie will be getting her drug. I just can't stop crying. A life-changing, potentially life-saving decision. DHS did the right thing. In just the nick of time. I just know that our little Maddie is going to get help. And I'm so grateful to everybody who has helped us. Maddie is scheduled to receive her Zolgensma infusion next week one day before she turns two. Now we're gonna keep following the story and let you know how it turns out. As for other kids with SMA, DHS says they're gonna to continue to require prior authorization in each case. Do we have any results from other kids who've had this injection? Do we know how it affects their health? Well, so it's brand new. It was just approved fast-tracked by the FDA in May. And the trials look really good. Maddie's doctors and their testimony said it's groundbreaking and they think it's curative, wow. but so far only a handful of kids have actually had it. Oh, I'm so glad she's oh, going to get the shot. Yeah, family. Excellent reporting. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks.